Chapter 1. The Peculiar Predicament at Pemberley Manor Mei Lin Chen, an eager journalist in training with a penchant for unravelling the most enigmatic tales, found herself standing at the wrought iron gates of Pemberley Manor. The manor loomed before her, a grandiose yet ominous silhouette against the twilight sky, its spires piercing the very heavens. This was no ordinary assignment, it was a baptism by fire into the world of investigative journalism. Clutching her notepad and pen, Maylin glanced at the hastily scribbled address in her hand, then back at the formidable structure. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves, a fitting backdrop for the mystery that was about to unfold. She had been sent to report on a distressing incident that had the whole village in a tizzy, the sudden and inexplicable disappearance of Lord Pemberley. As she pushed open the creaky gate, it emitted a groan that echoed through the desolate grounds. Maylin couldn't help but feel a shiver run down her spine. Blimey, this place gives me the heebie-jeebies, she muttered under her breath, trying to muster some courage. The path leading up to the manor was lined with gnarled trees, their branches resembling the twisted fingers of ancient crones, reaching out to snatch unsuspecting passers-by. She approached the grand entrance, her footsteps muffled by the thick carpet of fallen leaves. The door, an imposing slab of oak adorned with intricate carvings, stood ajar, as if inviting her into its shadowy depths. With a deep breath, Maylin pushed it open and stepped inside. The interior of Pemberley Manor was a stark contrast to its foreboding exterior. Lavish chandeliers hung from the high ceilings, casting a warm golden glow over the opulent furnishings. However, the grandeur was marred by an unsettling stillness, as though the very walls were holding their breath, waiting for something or someone. Hello, is anyone here? Maylin called out, her voice echoing through the cavernous hall. She received no reply, only the distant sound of a clock ticking away the seconds, each one a reminder of Lord Pemberley's absence. Determined to uncover the truth, she ventured further into the manor. The portraits of long-dead ancestors seemed to follow her with their painted eyes, their expressions a mix of disdain and curiosity. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. Suddenly, a series of rapid footsteps echoed down the corridor. Maylin's heart leapt into her throat as she spun around to face the source of the noise. To her astonishment, it was a small, scruffy dog, its fur a patchwork of mud and leaves. The dog skidded to a halt in front of her, barking frantically. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes, she said, crouching down to pat the little creature. The dog wagged its tail furiously, then darted off down the corridor, pausing to look back at her expectantly. Do you want me to follow you? Mei Lin asked, feeling slightly foolish for talking to a dog. But the canine seemed insistent, so she obliged, trailing behind it as it led her through a labyrinth of hallways and rooms, each more bewildering than the last. They finally arrived at a grand library, its shelves crammed with dusty tomes and ancient scrolls. The dog scampered over to a large, ornate fireplace and began scratching at one of the panels on the wall. Intrigued, Maylin examined the panel and discovered a hidden latch. With a firm tug, the panel swung open to reveal a secret passageway. Crikey, this is like something out of a detective novel, she whispered, her excitement mounting. She squeezed through the narrow opening, the dog at her heels, and found herself in a dimly lit tunnel. The air was damp and musty, and the walls were lined with cobwebs that clung to her like ghostly veils. As she ventured deeper, the tunnel began to slope downward, leading her into the bowels of the manor. The sound of dripping water echoed through the darkness, mingling with the distant rumble of thunder from the storm brewing outside. Maylin's mind raced with possibilities. Was Lord Pemberley being held captive down here? Or had he stumbled upon some dark secret that had led to his disappearance? She was determined to find out. Suddenly, the tunnel opened up into a cavernous underground chamber. The flickering light from her torch revealed a sight that made her gasp in astonishment. A trove of glittering treasures, hidden away from prying eyes. Piles of gold coins, jewels and priceless artefacts lay scattered across the floor, their brilliance undiminished by the passage of time. But it wasn't the treasure that caught her attention. At the far end of the chamber, bound and gagged, was Lord Pemberley himself, his eyes wide with fear and desperation. Hang on, I'll get you out of here, Malin said, rushing to his side. She quickly untied the ropes and removed the gag, her heart pounding with adrenaline. Thank you, thank you. Lord Pemberley gasped, his voice hoarse. You must leave at once, it's not safe here. 
Before Mei Lin could respond, a sinister laugh echoed through the chamber, sending chills down her spine. She spun around to see a shadowy figure emerging from the darkness, a malevolent grin spread across their face. Well, well, what do we have here? The figure sneered. A meddling journalist and a nosy dog. How delightful. Mei Lin squared her shoulders, her resolve firm. I'm Mei Lin Chen, and I'm here to uncover the truth. You're not going to stop me. The figure's grin widened. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. In fact, I think you'll find this story far more intriguing than you ever imagined. As the storm raged on above, Mei Lin knew she was in for the adventure of a lifetime. She had stumbled upon a web of secrets and lies, and she was determined to untangle it, no matter the cost.